Hi, welcome to Taffy's Texas Kitchen. Today I made homemade hamburger buns and hamburgers cooked in Italian dressing. So stick around with me and see what I did today. First I'm going to start off with one cup of milk and we need warm milk. So I am going to warm it up in the microwave. But we also need three tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my milk so that I can get that melted. You just want your milk warm enough so that you can be able to stick your finger in it it won't burn you. I'll bring you back when the milk is warm and the butter's melted. Okay, I've got my milk warmed up and my butter's melted in it. So I'm gonna add one packet of uh, instant yeast. I'm just gonna stir that up. And then I like to let my yeast uh, just set for a minute and bloom just to make sure the yeast is good. And I'll be right back when that happens. Almost forgot to put the sugar in. We need two tablespoons of sugar. And your yeast likes the sugar. That's what helps, feeds it and makes it rise. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna give that a little stir. Just stir in that sugar. Back. Okay, my yeast is active, and if you can see that, that's what it looks. See, it's changed and the, it's frothy on top. Okay, we also need one egg, and I'm gonna go ahead and crack that and put it in here. And I'm gonna mix that up. Flour. And I'm going to go ahead and add it in all at once. I'm just going to mix this till it starts coming together. Okay, it's at this point is when you want to determine if you need any more flour or not because even though a recipe says three and a half cups of flour, you might need a little bit more. But it's came completely away from the sides of the bowl, and that's what you're looking for. And so I'm just going to let this start kneading for uh, seven minutes. And so we'll be back after that. Okay, it's been going for seven minutes. So we're going to pull it down off the hook. Just a little bit of flour on it. This is just a tiny bit stickier than I like. Just right in the bowl, I'm just gonna knead in just that little bit of flour. It's probably about a quarter of a cup. I'm 
I'm just going to shape this into a ball. I'm just going to put just a little bit of oil on the bottom of the bowl. You don't have to get a brand new bowl out. And I'm just going to turn the dough over into the oil so it's all covered. And then I'm just going to put a piece of plastic over and let it rise for an hour. And we'll be back after that. Okay, the dough is risen. I'm just going to smash it down. And I'm just going to roll it to the like a little ball. And then I'm going to cut this into eight pieces. So you want to press out all that air because the air the little bubbles in there it will make like little holes in your bread if you don't smash it all out press it all out so first what I'm going to do is just cut it in half and then I'm going to cut those pieces in half pieces in half. I'm trying to make them even. And what I'm using, this is a grill scraper for like a blackstone grill. But I really like it because it has the handle on it better than the bench scraper with the, uh, to me I can get a better grip on it. So I'm going to take each piece and then I'm just going to start rolling them similar to like when you're making the uh, rolls. You just want to roll them under. And then I'm going to take it and just roll it around. So you kind of want to take the top and pull it under the bottom and while you're doing the bottom you like just push it inwards. And then do the same, just roll it around. That helps seal up the bottom. And then I'll just finish doing that and then I'll show you what we do next. All right, I got them all rolled out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press these down. And this also presses up some more of the air. And these are going to rise again for about 30 minutes. After they're about double their size. going to cook them at 375 for about 15 minutes. And before they go into the oven, I'm going to brush them with some butter. But we'll do that after they rise. And we'll be back in just after they rise again. Okay, I've got my oven set on 425. And I just melted some butter. And I'm going to just brush the tops. Give them a, a good coloring. 
good taste and then I'm going to put some sesame seeds on so that will help the sesame stick, seeds stick. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Right, I'm going to get these on the oven for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes and then we'll bring you back. Just got them out of the oven. They look beautiful. Got them. All right, I I'm let the buns cool down completely. So I'm just going to take a serrated knife and then cut them in half, trying to make it even. Just kind of go around. That's what's easiest for me, just keep turning it around. That's what they look like inside. Perfect little hamburger bun. Okay, I'm gonna make us some hamburgers and uh, I'll bring you back for that as well. I'm gonna make some um, hamburgers cooked in Italian dressing. So we'll be back in just a little bit. I'm gonna make some hamburgers to go with the uh, hamburger buns I made. And I like to cook mine my hamburgers in Italian dressing. First I brown the hamburgers off on both sides before I put the Italian dressing in. And I've already made up my patties and in my hamburger meat I put in, I got two pounds of meat and I put in uh, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and about a half teaspoon of pepper. And you can just make up your hamburger patties any way you like to make them, but that's how I do mine. Okay, I let my pan heat up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. eight buns yesterday so I think I ended up with nine hamburgers today when I made up my meat. And I'm just gonna let these uh, brown up on each side and then I'll bring you back. Okay I'm gonna start turning these over. So I'm not really trying to cook them all the way through right now I'm just trying to get a little bit of color on each side. And then once they get brown, then I'm going to put the Italian dressing on. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I've let them brown on both sides. And now I'm going to put Italian dressing on them. But I don't want to like soak them in the Italian dressing. I just want to just coat them in it. I'm just going to cover it up and we're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes and then I'll check them and see if they're done or not. I just put some uh, cheese on them and I'm going to let the cheese melt and then I'll be back and I'm going to make a burger. I'm going to have me a hamburger and a side salad and a glass of lemonade. Take a bite of my burger. like inside. The cooking it cooking it in the Italian dressing just makes it a really moist burger and it gives it a good flavor. So I hope you enjoyed today at Tabby's Texas Kitchen. Please come back again. And remember to show kindness to others and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.